Gen Y women have more rights and freedoms than those women who came before them, all because of the work of feminists fighting for equal rights. So naturally, all Gen Y women are feminists, right? Well, according to a study in the UK, this may not be true. 20% of women said they did not call themselves a feminist, even though they all believed in gender equality. But why? Might be partly perhaps because they don't understand what feminism is, that they don't see it as something as broad uh, as simply being an ideology that, that women and men are equal. Um, they might associate it with, you know, socialist and radical feminism, that kind of second wave feminism which belonged to previous generations. Um, so I think there might be some kind of misconception there. I wouldn't call myself a feminist because my role now as a mother is more important than any other role that I, that, I for, like, that I foresee other women taking. Natasha completed a uni degree in business after school and got a job straight out of uni. But once she had her first child, she decided being a mum was more important. My priorities really changed and trying to work my way up the ladder in my career really didn't matter anymore. You can't be a mother to your children as well as have a high profile career or try and making it's both both of them are long hours. So where like where do you get time to yourself? The type of feminism Natasha seems to be referring to is more second wave feminism, the fight for women to have it all. Dr. Kate Huppets thinks the way feminism has changed means the focus is more on social inequalities and that women who don't think they are feminists might actually be without realising. We've seen pretty broad shifts from the days in which we just focused on um, overturning laws to now understanding really how women are represented in culture. I think feminism is quite often done in an everyday way rather than Feminists don't necessarily get together in big groups and protest physically anymore. Being a feminist might be as simple uh, as you know donating money to a domestic violence campaign or resource. Beatrice Tan, convener of the Women's Collective at UTS, believes the media are partly to blame for this Gen Y move away from feminism. It does shock me that 20% of Gen Y women don't consider themselves feminists and what's even more shocking is that if you talk to them they will often identify with feminist ideals but they don't identify with the word itself and that's mainly because of the way feminism has been portrayed in the media. The media has an interesting relationship with feminism. I think that there's been a lot of articles recently on the relevance of feminism and I think that there's fairly little engagement with uh, younger feminists. But Natasha thinks it might just be the word itself that is the deterrent. The, I think it's a stereotype. I wouldn't say it's really an off-putting word. Mm -hmm. I, I just think it's just misunderstood or it's misused, I should say, misused in, in a context. So how do we make feminism relevant again? Dr Huppertz thinks we should make feminism more than just a gender issue to make sure it applies to all people in the grander scope of human rights. Feminism has this really important legacy and does some, has done some amazing things uh, for women and society at large. But I do think we need to keep talking about it and keep thinking about how we can do feminism differently in a way that, that's not alienating and in a way that's as inclusive as possible. If the people that don't call themselves feminists come to women's collective meetings or they attend our events, I think then they, would, they wouldn't necessarily learn so much, but their eyes would be open to the fact that the people that don't identify as feminists and the people that do identify with the word, I think they'll find that they're actually quite very similar in that they hold the same viewpoints, they, they're passionate about the same things, they want to change the same things. The only real bit of distinction there is, is the label itself. Joanne Patterson, That's Why.